All right, I just got home, and uh, I don't feel like editing a video tonight. Uh, I feel like it'll take a lot of time, but went to the Rays game with my dad and had the wildest ending. Um, before I start the video, I'm going to say uh, follow us at Underground Sports. We're going to do uh, Facebook, YouTube. I'm working on Instagram right now. Um, haven't gotten it up yet, but YouTube and Facebook, Underground Sports. It's just a page. Um, follow us. We're going to do cool stuff. Mostly it's disc golf right now, but I want to branch out and find anybody who has a recreational hobby that they are passionate about. Anybody who's interested, um, come follow me and I'm looking for other people to kind of join the group and post their own videos and stuff so I'm not the only one. Um, I don't want it to just be disc golf. Now that we're past that, crazy ending the game. Uh, so pretty uneventful uh, Rays Cardinals I was just going there because I wanted to see Albert Pujols possibly for the last time I don't know when he's going to retire but it was a good time um, seventh inning Rays score bottom of seventh one run uh, it was, so it's one nothing top of the eighth Cardinals come back get another run so it's tied one to one uh, and then we get through the ninth and we get into extra innings so with the new MLB rule, extra innings, a guy gets to start on second. The person who was last at bat that got out, I believe. I know the rule, the rules are a little touchy, but I think that's how it works. So the Cardinals uh, being the away team, even though they had more fans at the stadium than the Rays. So it felt like we were at Bush Stadium. Um, it was in Tampa. St. Louis. They get to go ahead run in the top of the 10th. Uh, and then they bat out. So bottom of the 10th, Rays are up. They got the guy on second. Um, now they walk the first batter. So it's zero outs, man on first to second. The second batter hits a ground, or he bunts it, bunts it in the infield. Uh, they get an amazing throw to third to get the lead runner out. So it's one out. Mana on first and second still because of player's choice. And then the second or third batter, second out, is a pop fly in the infield. So you get the infield fly rule. Nobody advances. Two outs. So now we have St. Louis up two to one. Bottom of the tenth. Two outs, man on first to second. Pitcher gets the countdown. We're at three and two. Now the batter who is up has a 170, possibly a 174 batting average. And the pitcher throws a changeup inside. This guy lines it high and inside the right side foul line. And it's just tucking inside, inside, and it curves. And it hits dead inside the netting on the pole for a three-run walk-off home run, giving the Rays a 4-2 win against the Cardinals. Now, I always say it's crazy. is one, three to two, two outs. They're down by one. Man for a first second. But the guy's got a 170 batting average. Nobody's betting on him to hit a home run. Also, before the Cardinals even started the 10th inning, I said to my dad, you know, I've never watched a game where they had a walk-off home run before. That would be pretty cool. And it fucking happened. <laughs> and, you know, I'm glad I was watching the Cardinals and the Rays and not the... White Sox in the race because I would have been fucking pissed. <laughs> it was one of the funniest things. I just was laughing so hard when he hit that ball just a straight a beam shot right off the foul pole. And, like, perfect. The Rays fans thought it was done. Cardinals fans, 3-2, and two, were clapping already. They were just ready. Ready for the strikeout. And... 70% of that fan base was Cardinals fans and 70% of the people went home unhappy and that made the game worth going to.